Hey guys, this is David right here with DC Case Mods, and uh, this video we're going to be showing you guys, or actually, it's a response to a question that uh, a customer had asked about their system. Um, they wanted to dismantle their uh, water cooling system, um, or take you know, or take it apart, and then they had a question about maintenance. Now, first of all, I can tell you about maintenance on water cooled system. It requires pretty much no maintenance. The only thing that you're concerned about will be your liquid here. Um, to make sure that your coolant doesn't run low. And um, it's, it's pretty basic. Uh, the coolant that you would use to fill it up is a, uh, it's a liquid cooling coolant. I'm going to, uh, let's just walk over here real quick. Quick, uh, go through the mess in the shop here but pretty much you can use or what you want to use is um, it's a coolant liquid uh, specifically designed for water cooling this is Mayhem's Aurora Ringtail Purple uh, this is one also here's one here this is the empty bottle some fester cooling coolant here and and that's what you want to use you want to use a uh, what PC water cooling fluid and you can purchase these um, I have uh, there's three places that we purchase them from um, Performance PCS, um, Exode, and Frozen CPU. You can also get them now, they do have them at uh, the micro centers, and I'm you may be able to find them at Best Buy too. Um, but I don't really shop at Best Buy, so I don't really know. But I know they do have them at the micro centers and any other local computer stop shops that uh that you have available to you. Um, now, for dismantling or taking apart your water cooling system. Now this particular water, water cooling system, um, this will require a lot more work to take apart because of the way that uh, the motherboard is set in there. Uh, the motherboard is set uh, horizontally, so um, basically you have a lot of stuff you got to take apart in this one. You know, you got to pretty much take apart everything. Um, you got I would recommend you know taking part you know taking apart the top of the case everything and get everything you know get as much open space as you can and this one we have to be very careful about taking this one apart um, but hopefully when you get your water cooling system you don't want to take it apart and I just want to kind of show you guys how well these water cooled systems cool this one is cooling at 16 15, 16 uh, degrees Celsius. The highest that this went was 33 degrees. And we had it on a full over. We ran sign bench. And uh, those are our scores for this particular system here. Um, but this thing runs cool. This is very cool. And, you know, whoops, sorry. <laughs> this is a very cool system. So water cooling can be very beneficia beneficiary um, for cooling your uh, components. Now, we're going to move over to this system. I'm going to show, um, just hopefully uh, this will answer your question on how to dismantle your system. Now, <clears throat> for some systems, um, they actually install a, it's a drain port that is actually installed uh, close to the reservoir or somewhere within your water loop system there's a drain port installed. We didn't install a drain port on here. Um, I don't really use them. Um, because pretty much when I do a water cooling system, it's going to stay in there. But I've taken a lot, a lot of water cooling systems apart. But basically, my method to taking it apart is to making sure that you get all your components out of the way. And um, uh, the first step is to drain your reservoir. So the easiest way step for this system, and this is a system that's uh, uh, pretty much similar to the system uh, that we're going that the uh, customer was asking about. So the, the graphic card is on the bottom of the system here and what I would do, or what you do, you just want to find a way to um, minimize the, the fluid that's going to be coming out. You, you want to minimize, it, the spill, minimize the spillage. So uh, make sure you get some paper towels or use a, a little towel that you don't use to, uh, and you know remove anything any kind of component for the bottom right for here I would remove this power supply that's coming out of there 
to make sure that I don't get any uh, liquid <clears throat> on my power supply. So place your towels, you know, underneath where you're going to be uh, taking apart. Uh, and uh, for here, we can go both here and here. Um, but what I would do, I would take out, I would just unscrew this, and this one screws counterclockwise. And then once you take that, um, <clears throat> take that off, your tubing will still be attached to your uh, fitting here. And um, what you know, what you do, you take that tubing off, but you have to be careful. You want to make sure you have a cup, a plastic cup, or um, yeah, you want to get a plastic cup or something or a container that can hold that liquid because it's all going to come out. If you got a plastic Tupperware bin, uh, that's perfect. You put that Tupperware bin underneath there, you take the tubing out, and all your liquid is going to come out into that, uh, <clears throat> into that Tupperware, and you'll have uh, pretty much minimal spillage. And once that, all that water comes out of your reservoir, you get all, all the liquid that, you, liquid that you can, and then you want to carefully just uh, take out your components because you're going to have to remove your um, graphic cards completely. And um, when you remove those graphic cards, just make sure to look out uh, for any more fluid that's going to be left over in your water block. Um, same thing when you're taking off your uh, water block here for your processor. <clears throat> now this one's on a whole separate loop. And the, and the system that uh, the, the gentleman had is only one, it was a one loop. So that that's going to be an easy system for him to, to drain that liquid. And this particular system, there's a, <clears throat> we got a two loops. So for this loop, I would, more than likely I will come right here. After I've removed this loop and taken these graphic cards out, I'm going to come back to this loop and uh, we're gonna, we'll, we will remove it from here, take it out here, have our little cup or whatnot, Tupperware on the bottom, take it out here, all the water drains out. Um, <clears throat> now, in that system that the uh, gentleman had, there was a radiator that actually was on the top of the top, so when, you, when you're taking apart, uh, when you get all the liquid drain out of your reservoir, make sure to just be careful when you take your radiator out and when you're taking your tubings out from the radiator that you um, note that there's still some liquid that will be in the radiator so just be careful about that when you're taking that out and uh, hopefully you shouldn't have any problems uh, you know draining your system then once you drain your system then you know you can remove all uh, the, the components out of the PC and um, do what you like so I hope that this video helped you or help you to uh, to have a little bit more confidence um, draining your system um, like I said it's uh, not very complicated but you just want to be careful and take your time and then make sure that you minimize um, your liquid that you know that's you want to minimize your spillage you don't want liquid everywhere um, but it's pretty it's really easy to clean up if you get it on your hands um, don't drink it <laughs> uh, but it's really it's really easy to clean up is it's, it's very easy to clean up uh, not so hard um, so I wanted to uh, show you guys also what we have here if you didn't see our video before about our custom radiator template grills uh, we have these um, up on our eBay store right now and um, we're gonna be working on getting these products onto our website to make it easier for you guys to go purchase um, we have uh, these are relatively inexpensive this is the 200 which one is this one so we got three we got three sizes so we have a 240 grill template this one started at uh, 19 dollars and 84 cents our largest one which is a 420 I believe that one's like 2684 and then we have a 280 this one's at 2184 and uh, just what you can use these for like you can use them like I said to cut out you know coals for your rate you want to put a radiator anywhere and there's no space for it you can uh, there's no um, there's not there, there's no holes for it you can use our templates to uh, to make your cutout for your radiator and these are really great because they're not made of paper <clears throat> And they're not made of any carbon material, so they're very sturdy and they will last. Uh, you can do many things with them. You can also use them as uh, fan grills. And we, for this case right here, this is exactly what we use. And we're going to put this on there as a fan grill. 
uh, for our fans and it fits perfectly as we use our template to cut it out anyway but these are available for you guys to purchase on our eBay store and um, <clears throat> like I said I hope this video helped uh, help help our customer uh, have the confidence to go ahead and take apart that system and um, of course if you have any questions please uh, give us a call now um, just wanted to let you guys know look out for our next video coming up um, it's going to be what are we doing we are doing a oh we're doing a case giveaway we're doing another case giveaway uh... it's on a origin a pc genesis case it's white and looks just like that case right there it's, a, uh, it's white and we're going to be doing a, a, a raffle for that case but look be on the lookout for that and then we have a couple more giveaways coming up uh... so we want to keep you know keep you guys informed and uh... keep you guys excited about uh... about mods that are about you know mods coming out in the future All right. All right, so guys, take care, and um, thanks for watching, and enjoy the good weather that's coming up. It's summertime. Well, it's getting ready to be summertime. It's not quite summertime. We still got a little ways to go, but anyhow. All right, this is David Wright signing off. Peace.